Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video, I will be making some Instant Pot yogurt. I found the recipe on Pinterest. And I swear my husband thinks that's going to be my famous last words is, Oh look honey, I found this on Pinterest. But it really works. My kids go through a ton of yogurt and it's expensive to buy all natural organic yogurt. So I found it on, found a recipe on Pinterest and I tried it out and they cannot stop eating it. So that's a good sign. But first, I want to take you guys out in the garden and check up on some of the peas that came up. We had a really cold night last night and I'm hoping they survived. So let's go. So it looks like they are doing well. This is the golden sweet peas. A friend of mine gave these seeds to me and I planted them. I'm planning on doing a trellis of sorts once we get these hoops up and it's going to go over to this bed here. It'll be a small arched way trellis, but it'll look pretty once these all come up. My kale, lettuce, radishes, and beets all love this cold weather. I'm not sure if the peas do though, so. but they seem to be doing well. And then I know these guys over here they came up a couple days ago. These are my sugar magnolia peas. Garlic's getting in the way. And they are doing good too. So, cool. That makes me happy. So I was just getting ready to say that I think these green arrow shell peas are not going to come up. But then look what I saw here. This little guy. And I thought they weren't going to come up because I had planted them well, well before I planted all the other onions and peas. And so maybe they just take a little bit longer. Again, it was just a, a unmarked bag of peas that a friend of mine gave me and she had been collecting. And I stuck them in the ground to see what happens. And a little guy came up. So... That's super exciting. I love seeing little seedlings come up and never knowing, you know, that sort of mystery is, is it going to make it? Is it not? And then feeling the... Alright, so we're in my kitchen now. I have my Instant Pot. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make Instant Pot yogurt. This will be your finished product. Um, it's just simple little jelly jars that I've collected. You can do mason jars. You can do plastic containers whatever you want to store it in. I like this because it comes out to be just one individual serving. And since my kids like to eat it for breakfast and dessert sometimes, it's nice that I could just grab this for them, hand it to them, they eat it right out of the jar. It saves time, a mess. And as most homeschooling parents know, those are both very valuable essentials. All right, so what you need to get started is you need whole milk. You can use any kind. I prefer this kind um, just because it's lactose free. Um, you also need a can of condensed milk. This is 14 ounces. You need some yogurt to get started. I've been told you can use your previous product, but I just like to start over. This cost me a dollar um, and this cost me a couple dollars and considering like a pack of yogurt costs like six dollars. I think it's a valuable idea to just start over again. You'll need a whisk, a cup, and a table measuring spoon. So to get started, you're gonna add your can of condensed milk and a cup of your regular milk into your off instant pot and stir that up. So let's do that now. This is the fastest and easiest recipe I have found to do this, and it tastes really good. My kids enjoyed it a lot. My husband enjoyed it. Even I enjoyed it, and I don't like a ton of yogurt because they usually end up being super, super sweet. This is not super sweet. Um, once my garden gets going, I plan on adding the strawberries and blueberries to it and that'll be even better um, so you just put this all in there and you give it a whisk and my 
kids on the stairs. You whisk it all up till it's all nice and smooth. It just helps to get the condensed milk in there a little bit better than trying to add it all in there and add your yogurt to clump up a little bit on you. So you mix that up. All good. And then also add, you only need to do two tablespoons of this yogurt. You could do a little more, I'm sure, if you really wanted to, but it's not necessary. So two tablespoons. I don't really measure all that precisely. It doesn't matter all that much. And you mix that in there so it looks like Get it going. You want to get all the clumps out. Get it nice and smooth. It might take you a minute or two, but like I said, this recipe really is quite fast. Alright, that's pretty much good. Alright, once that's done, you add the rest of your milk. Now I got a, you want a half a gallon, so this is 52, 52 ounces, and you just pour it in there. Try not to splatter it all over yourself like I do. And then I give it just another stir to get it in there. And the lid on. Alright, so my Instant Pot is a six quart Instant Pot. It comes with the yogurt setting, so that makes it even easier. I just put that on. It will say eight hours. That's how long it takes. And then once it gets going, the seal can either be one way or the other. It doesn't really matter. And it will start to count up, not down. And then after eight hours, you just take the lid off, put some plastic wrap, or if you have the Instant Pot glass lid, put that on top, and then you stick it right in the fridge for three hours, and you're good to go. Don't, oh, major tip, don't stir it, don't touch it until after it's chilled for three hours. I made that mistake and it still came out yummy. It was very good, but I think I messed up the texture a little bit. So, all right guys, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate any likes or shares. As always, I'm open to comments, advice, and suggestions down below. So thanks for joining me. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, I turn it on and then you're gone, huh? Be your next YouTube star. Mm -hmm. That silly little boy. Say hi. No. It's gonna be weird. <laughs> Alright, be a creeper. Say bye bye. Hello. Bye bye.